Welcome to Madam English YouTube channel. In this video you will hear the explanation about natural phenomenon around us. Listen carefully to the video. After that, identify the social function, structure of text, and the language features of the explanation text that you have heard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe Madam English YouTube channel. Thank you. How rain happens. Rain is a natural phenomenon that occurs when moisture in the air condenses and falls back to the surface of the earth. It is an important part of the water cycle, which is the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface of the earth. The process of rain begins when the sun heats the surface of the earth. As the surface warms, it releases moisture in the form of water vapor into the air. This water vapor rises into the atmosphere and cools as it gets higher in the sky. When the water vapor cools, it condenses into tiny droplets that form clouds. As the clouds become heavy and full of water droplets, they begin to move and drift with the wind. When the clouds move over an area where the air is cooler, the water droplets in the clouds may begin to condense into larger drops. When the water droplets become too heavy for the clouds to hold on to, they fall back to the surface of the earth as rain. Rain can occur in many different forms, such as a light drizzle, a heavy downpour, or a thunderstorm. The amount and intensity of rain can vary greatly depending on the temperature and humidity of the air, as well as the movement of the clouds. How Tsunami Happens A tsunami is a series of large waves that are caused by a sudden disturbance in the ocean, such as an earthquake, landslide, or volcanic eruption. Tsunamis can be very destructive and can cause serious damage to coastal communities. The process of a tsunami begins with an underwater disturbance that causes the seafloor to rise or fall suddenly. This disturbance creates a series of waves that radiate outward from the point of disturbance. These waves are called tsunamigenic waves, and they can travel through the ocean at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour, 800 kilometers per hour. As the cinemagenic waves move through the ocean, they become larger and more powerful. When the waves reach shallow water near the coast, they slow down and the energy that was stored in the wave is released. This causes the wave to become much taller, sometimes reaching heights of over 100 feet, 30 meters. Tsunamis can be very dangerous, as the large waves can cause serious damage to buildings, roads, and other structures along the coast. They can also cause flooding and landslides, which can lead to further damage and loss of life. It is important for coastal communities to be prepared for the possibility of a tsunami and to have evacuation plans in place in case of an emergency.